In this video, I'll show you three free Whisper AI apps for offline transcription and subtitles that are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Welcome to this video. My name is David, and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. First on the list is Vibe. Now, Vibe allows you to transcribe everything on your operating system. They are powered by OpenAI's Whisper, and this is more or less like the official website, but I always prefer to go to GitHub. You can see it's available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So I'll go to the uh, GitHub page right here, and it allows you to transcribe on your own, as I've mentioned. And you can see the different options available here, the features right here, what you can do with it, and so on and so forth. Scroll down, down to the bottom to see the roadmap and everything. So if you come back up here, there's the option for releases. If I click on this, or more or less, you can see when this was uh, last kind of uh, released. I can click on that release to see what's available right here. So you can see what was done or what's new then uh, right there. And then you can go for the downloadable files. I've gone ahead and downloaded and installed Vibe on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and open Vibe right there. Just open it. And this is more or less the welcome page that you get. So you've got uh, the microphone here. You've got uh, the folder. You've got the link where you can actually uh, download uh, YouTube videos and transcribe them using this. So uh, let's not do that, but you can click also on advanced to include some folders and all that. If you wanted to select a file, just click on it and navigate to the folder with that file, click on open. And if you're satisfied with everything, just click on transcribe. And the transcription is going to begin ASAP and you have a couple of options. You can copy. It's already done because that was a short video. You can copy, save transcript, write alignment for uh, right to left languages, or change the format you want your uh, text or transcript to appear from SRT subtitles to a transcript right there. And then you can copy this or even just save the transcript where you want it. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now let's go on to the second tool right here. It's Buzz Captions, and this is more or less the official website for uh, Buzz uh, right here. But this is more or less dedicated to kind of the Mac uh, OS. Uh, that is this particular page right here. But if you'd like to get a Buzz Classic, because there's Buzz on Mac OS, there's also Buzz Classic. Buzz Classic is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And you can see the models available right here. So if we go to GitHub, as I mentioned, right here you can see as of an hour ago something was updated right there and buzz transcribes and translates audio offline on your computer powered by openai's whisper if you scroll down you can see the different options available here uh, the installation uh, you can use uh, pypi mac os windows and then you've got linux uh, buzz is available on uh, flatpak or snap so you can get it on all those applications or operating systems for this matter. For the releases, just go to this release here and you'll be able to see what was changed. For example, about last year, uh, this was changed. And the reason why you may think these are a little bit old releases per se is because OpenAI has not released any new Whisper models uh, right here. So whatever they released uh, previously uh, is too big to more or less run on local computers. And that is why we don't have uh, like updated releases that you can easily use for free on your computer other than uh, more or less uh, the OpenAI Whisper that's available. So from here, you can go to the assets. And as you can see, what we have for the assets here are for the Mac and Windows. And I've uh, walked you through where you can get the one for Linux via Flatpak or Snap. So if you're on Windows, you can get this. Please take a note of the size. Uh, as well for Vibe, you can take a note for the size. So Vibe is smaller, Buzz is uh, a little bit bigger, uh, but let's open it up uh, right here. Let's go for Buzz. Let's minimize Vibe. And uh, that's the interface, more or less. Simple URL, uh, simple interface right here. Uh, and to add a file, just click on this or actually just drag and drop. So I can click on this plus and then navigate to the folder with the file I want to kind of transcribe. Let's say we go with this and then click on open. 
and then you're going to be prompted for what model you want. Do you want to use Whisper, Whisper CPP, Hugging Face, Faster Whisper, OpenAI Whisper? I have Whisper, the tiny version, downloaded. And what task do you want to do? Transcribe or translate the languages. You can let it detect and then you can go for advanced. But let's just click on run. Just want to transcribe that. It's also another short video. It's completed. Now, once it's done, just double click on it. And once you do that, you're going to see your transcript right here. So uh, you can see it may not be the best because depending on the model you're using, this will give you varied results. So the tiny models will use uh, less RAM uh, and have poorer quality, but the bigger models or the larger models are actually going to give you better results, take some time and also consume a lot of RAM. So this is Buzz, available for Windows, Linux and Mac for offline transcription and subtitles. And as for the export, you can click on export as text, SRT or VTT subtitles. Uh, super, super awesome as well. And then we've got the final one in this uh, option is Autosubs. Now, Autosubs is more or less marketed as AI powered subtitles for DaVinci Resolve. But previously uh, with version 3, they introduced a standalone version that you can use uh, on Windows, Linux and uh, Mac. And it's available. You can instantly generate AI powered subtitles on your device, work standalone or connects to DaVinci Resolve. So if you scroll down, there's a Windows installation, Mac OS, and then the Linux option here. So uh, you can see everything that you can do. What's new in version three? Everything is right here. And I'll leave all links in the description below for you to kind of see what's going on. So as for the releases, I'll click on that. It's right here uh, for the last release was improving one timing and fix issues with large models. So you can see the different options here. Windows, Mac OS, uh, we've got Intel ARM, and Autosubs Linux is right here. So super simple to download. And for Windows, I'm on Windows, it's about 64 MB. So Buzz Captions is one of the biggest uh, in this. And actually uh, the file size is about 1.5 gigabytes on uh, Windows and installation requires at least five GB on your computer. So it's really huge. So let's open up Autosubs. Let's go to Autosubs right here and uh, it's open up, let's minimize buzz. And this is more or less like the interface. Uh, so I think he's got a top secret project a lot. Hey Tom here, the solo dev behind Autosubs. I'm building something new and would love your wildest feature ideas. What would blow your mind? So you can take that survey, but let's go to the standalone option right here. And from here, all you need to do is just input your file Let's navigate to the folder with the file you want to transcribe. Let's say this same file, open. And then uh, from here, uh, you can either go with the base or actually download different models available right here. Uh, and then uh, once you're satisfied, start transcription. And you're going to see the transcription progress right here. And because it has a file that resembles this, uh, it's actually going to pre-populate the subtitles right here. Now you can click on export right here, but the only downside to uh, Autosubs and, the, and that's the reason why it's the last option is because it only has the option for SRT and JSON at the time of recording this video. But you can always uh, remove the timestamps from uh, the SRT uh, subtitle file super, super easily. And those are more or less three free applications that are powered by OpenAI's Whisper, available for offline transcription and subtitling of your videos on Windows, Mac and Linux. We've got Vibe, we've got Buzz, and we've got Autosubs. That's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thanks for watching.